Hey, Benson Memorial friends. I am here with our disaster response coordinator for our congregation, Brett Lehman. And we wanted to fill you in on where we are um, with our disaster response uh, as we care for those who are recovering from Hurricane Florence. First of all, I want to remind you we're collecting cleaning kits and here's one of them right here. And our goal is to collect a hundred of these before the end of October. And you'll see below this video uh, the link to a PDF that has everything that you need to get to put in one of these cleaning kits that we used to call flood buckets. And would love for you and your family uh, to participate in bringing some of these cleaning kits. These can be taken straight into someone's home um, who's had water damage and they can begin to do some cleanup work with them. Also, wanted to thank you for all the ways that you've been giving to UMCOR financially. In just two Sundays, we've raised almost $6,000 in hurricane relief. That's just a remarkable thing. So thank you for that. You're welcome to continue um, over and above your regular giving uh, to make special gifts to UMCOR in the coming weeks. There's some new opportunities we wanted to share with you, including that our Mercy Center, uh, which is in Goldsboro, just an hour away, is being open several days a week now and are welcoming volunteers to come in and help pack um, more cleaning kits that are being shipped down east and down south in North Carolina for us. Um, and wanted to invite you to be a part of that. You'll see more of that information below this video as well. And there's a call center for those experiencing damage in their homes and our Methodist building in Garner, just down the road, and they need volunteers all day and all night to be answering the phone uh, to take people's information so that we can get help to them. If you'd be interested in that, please check out that information below as well. Brett's gonna talk to you about some training opportunities coming up. Sure, so um, what we're gonna do is, is um, the early response training is required either for the workers who are willing to get out and, and work in the New Bern area, uh, to help people clean out their houses, to get the sheetrock out, to um, <clears throat> hopefully eventually start to rebuild some of these homes as well. So this is a long-term thing, and early response training is required. So we will be setting up coordinators within the congregation, um, and if you're willing to do that, you know, please reach out to me. I'll, I'm going to leave my email address and phone number at the end of this. Um, please reach out to me and let me know. We'll be informing you through the bulletin and through... Um, churchwide emails where and when these training sessions are going to happen and at that point we'll be able to start sending teams down to some designated areas whether we go for a day uh, for a weekend for a, an entire week we, we don't know we just know this is going to be a long-term commitment and we need everyone's help who's interested in, in in doing this kind of work if you're the least bit handy please let us know that you'd be willing to do this or let me know and and I'll, I'll point you in the right direction there is a training for early response trainers that's happening at Fuquay Verena United Methodist Church on Saturday, October 6th. If you'd like uh, to make a commitment to go and go ahead and get trained and then let Brett know that you got trained and we'll make sure we have you on that list. I uh, thank you for the ways that you are responding already and thank you for your prayers uh, for our loved ones that have been affected, um, that are connected to our church members, and those that we may never meet um, that your gifts are already making a difference for. Brett, you want to give them your contact information?